Morning again, several days after the attack on the U.S. consulate, this was the story that the Obama administration was sticking to. Listen. This was not a pre-planned, premeditated uh, attack. That what happened initially was that it was a spontaneous uh, reaction to what had just transpired in Cairo uh, as a consequence of the video. Our current assessment is that what happened in Benghazi was, in fact, initially a spontaneous uh, reaction. What our assessment is as of the present is, in fact, what it began spontaneously in Benghazi uh, as a reaction to what had transpired some hours earlier in Cairo. But as Fox News reports, the administration knew within the first 24 hours that it was a terrorist attack. So why were Americans left in the dark, and how could a potential cover-up impact the election? Here for a fair and balanced debate is Fox News contributor Angela McGlowan and liberal radio talk show host Mark Levine. Mark, let me start with you. This seems like a big problem for the president. I don't see it that way. Look, the president came out the morning after the attacks on September 12th, came out in the Rose Garden, told Americans these were acts of terror and promised to punish the perpetrators, and I have no doubt we will. It does take time to put all this intelligence together. We now know or appear to believe that it was a local Libyan militia named Ansar al-Sharia that basically opportunistically hijacked the ongoing spontaneous protests. The Washington Post reported that it took seven hours after the protests and the attacks began for them to go home get their mortars and use them to firebomb the consulate. So the, what intelligence analysts believe now is that they cased the joint. It was a pre-planned attack, but maybe the day wasn't pre-planned. So it did begin as a spontaneous protest. Then they came in, hijacked it, and, and killed but those Mark, American heroes. Is that the Wash, administration Angela? was lock in step with their statement. You had Hillary Clinton that came out. You had our U.N. ambassador that came out. You had Jay Carney, the, the White House press secretary, saying in essence that this attack was spontaneous and and it was because of an anti-Muslim video. Now we know to the contrary, and I'm so delighted that John Kerry, even though he's working with Obama on his debates, is actually going to lead an investigation to actually see what happened. We need to know what the White House knew well, and why we did not beef up security at our embassies. And the fact that a film came out in January, this anti-Muslim film came out in January, we use that Mark, to blame the uh, attacks in Benghazi. Mark, and we're, what, why the disconnect, though, when Fox News reporting 24 hours afterwards and our sources confirming that, and then, to my mind, I'm looking at the calendar here, September 11th, and then f nearly five days later, you have, uh, you have uh, uh, Secretary Rice up on the, the Sunday talk shows, on five different shows vociferously defending this, Mark. Well, again, the President of the United States, within 24 hours, called this an act of terror. So we knew it was a terrorist attack. What we didn't know is exactly <laughs> who did it and whether it was planned. And it turns out that, again, the terrorists saw this spontaneous uh, a protest against the, the video, the despicable video. They ran home. They got their mortars. It was only seven hours after there were gun battles, after the attacks we, began, we, that they used those mortars. Angela, so, will this be a problem for the president come to the debate? The foreign is policy going, is up in the yes, first in the debates. Yes, and I believe that this is going to be a problem. And as Ben Stein said and others, this could be worse than Watergate for the Obama administration. But the problem is, will the mainstream media actually report it? So people need to tune in to the debates. And Mitt Romney needs to hold Obama's feet to the fire. Mark, final word on the debate. Will it be a problem for the president? I don't think so. I think Americans want a president who waits till he has all the facts before he accuses people. You know, Mitt Romney came out on September 11th, broke the embargo about politicking on September 11th, <laughs> and used it claiming Obama sympathized oh, so with he terrorists. The football. Okay. This president, mm -hmm. this president waited, and I think he's well, right to wait till he had all the facts. Well, we'll see how this plays out in the debates coming up. Not too much longer to wait. Mark and Angela, great to see both of you this morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having us. Thank you, us. Clayton.